G'day everyone, this is a video about zip wax. Now, mine are on an F18 Fruiser, the 300S model. Fruiser comes with an aluminium transducer bracket, that's 4mm alloy. We've welded another plate on top of it, 6mm plate, fully seam welded. The zip wax need a really good solid base, it needs to be dead flat. Those screws you can see there need to be torqued up, and if there's anything behind there that's not straight, you'll jam the zip wax up. It just won't work. Cable up and over through a gland seal. That's all in the kit. Does come with some protective sheafing, but I haven't used that. Don't need it. So that's the right hand side. Over to the left. Same deal. Separate plate. Transducer still fits. Cable up through the gland, through the engine pod, into the dry storage where they go to the connector box. Connector box has a cable that goes all the way around through here, up to the dash. So that's your um, dash unit, obviously all in the kit. I've got mine hooked up to the key. So turn the key on or start the motor and the zip wax kick into life. Just run through a little bit of a startup process. I'll pop on. So you can run them on auto, you push that button, but I've got no GPS in my garage, so I can't show you that. But the auto function's really, really good. It controls your pitch and your roll. If someone moves around on the boat, these things compensate for it. And they'll um, they'll pop down like the left or the right automatically. And they react real quick. Just really, really fantastic. I leave it on automatic all the time. If you don't have it on automatic, you can control them both together. Puts them down exactly the same. Or separately. Um, menu. This is really, really cool. So auto setup, auto pitch curve. So that's the pitch curve that you set to get your boat up on the plane. There's a hundred percent to all the way down, and there's zero all the way up, and the speed on the bottom. So that's if I go on there at three knots, then ninety-eight percent down. Go along a little bit further. There we have 10 knots, 71% down. And I've got mine at 15 knots, they're all the way up, so I'm not working at all. So that helps you spit up on the plane um, really, really fast. You can change it to whatever you want. You just simply push the ed edit button there and you can change it. There you go, it's up to 100% at nine knots. Save, job done. Lower limit so they don't come on to 4.5. Boat data. Here's my boat, 5.5, goes in half meter lengths, the beam and the weight. So when you um when you select all of that and you set that up, that's real critical to get the boat sitting in the water at the boat ramp in the calm and have put a level on it and get the boat level. Because this thing's got a gyro in it and you need the gyro and all that. To be perfectly level when you do the setup otherwise your auto roll is going to be out i got it wrong the first time i set it up in my driveway i thought it was level and it wasn't level so i went to the boat ramp and i did another setup and i set it with a level on the dash i got the boat level i had to move a little bit of weight around because it is quite a light boat and i did the setup again and now it's perfect so i pretty much run on automatic all the time so automatic for the roll the pitch and all that up to 15 knots, these things will control your pitch. After 15 knots, they don't control the pitch, just the roll. That's really important because you still want to use your trim on your motor here. You still want to use your trim to get your boat running right. Like I'll just have that on automatic just for the roll. So the pitch is disabled after 15 knots, which is back here on the auto setup, auto pitch curve. You can change this here. Mine is gone completely at 15 knots. But you can bring that all the way back to be gone completely at eight knots. My boat's planing at eight knots, so I could take it there, take it off there, but I just haven't been bothered. So everything's real easy on this on this screen here. Everything to set it up is really, really, really dead easy. So oops, let's just turn that off. It's pretty annoying. 
So I'll um, I'll run with this. There's the knots there, which is pretty cool. Really, really handy. So I'll use that for the speed as well. And I'll run pretty much on that trim, a quarter trim, all the time. Um, I don't even trim it in to, to turn. I've got my motor set quite high. Um, if I go up a little bit further on a turn sharp, it'll um, motor pops out of the water. But what, on auto, when you turn, the zip weights come down to assist your turning. So if you turn hard to the right, that one actually goes down to give you a little bit of tilt. Really, really fantastic. So my boat, I'll stand back, is a side console. This is the reason I got them. So all the weight on my boat is on the right-hand side. Console with two batteries in it. Plus a min coder. Don't know what that weighs, but it's quite a bit. Chili bin seat is there too, so you fill that with ice and fish. And all the weights on the side. So if I'm by myself, with all this weight here, that's why I've got the zip weights. And they even the boat out perfectly. So if you are thinking about getting them, the, boat, the best thing about them I find is they spit your boat up onto the plane real quick. And they take out the roll. Just really, really good. We were marlin trolling yesterday and I uh, had them on automatic and they're really, really good. Highly recommend them. I mean, they are a chunk of money, but they work exceptionally well, especially for getting the boat up on the plane. That's something that I didn't really buy them for. I bought them for the roll, but now that I've got it and you play around with it, I think it's just deadly. Any questions, feel free to ask and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.